Greetings. We're live from Grand Avenue United Methodist Church. My name is David, and I'm just getting ready for worship tomorrow. We won't be gathering here in our sanctuary. In, in fact, we're not going to gather in our sanctuary or for any other purposes, at least until the 1st of May. We're doing that to avoid the possibility of infection. But in the meantime, we're going to be live streaming our services Sunday mornings at 1045. We hope that you'll come and join us. Have you ever looked at the backside of a pulpit? It's not a very pretty sight. All kinds of extraneous stuff tends to collect here. Old bulletins, a pack of Kleenex, and you might want to keep those for later on. Broken pencils. Hmm, not sure what that was. Probably won't need it. Here's a note I guess I wrote to myself on the back of an offering envelope. Oops, I never actually did that. Probably better save that for later on. Everything else I'm going to set aside. Won't be needing it. But there's one thing that I always want to have when I step into the pulpit, and that's a nice, cool glass of water. We all get thirsty from time to time. God made our bodies in such a way that we're 60% water, and we have to replenish our supply. It's a very human thing for us to get thirsty. Which reminds me, as we worship on Sunday, we're going to be considering another of the final words that Jesus spoke from the cross. He spoke seven utterances, each of them recorded in one or another of the Gospels. Sometimes it was a prayer that was offered to God. Sometimes it was a word of pardon spoken to a thief hanging on the cross beside him. Last week we talked about what it was like for him to address his mother and his best friend at the foot of the cross. This Sunday, we hear the shortest of the expressions. It is, I thirst, which is a way for us to remember that Jesus was like us in every way except for he was without sin. He lived like us. He struggled like us. He suffered like us. He even died like us. And he rose again to remind us that God's power is even greater than the power of death. You know, it's important for me right now to know that I have a Savior who can identify with my suffering. The struggles that we're going through in this world right now, uh, sometimes they just seem too great to bear. I need to know that there is someone that I can hold on to, someone that I can trust, someone who will hold on to me. I'm reminded of the wisdom that I learned from my friend Carolyn years ago, who said, sometimes, David, we need to stop telling God how big our problems are, and we need to start telling our problems just how great our God is. And that's what we're going to be celebrating Sunday morning at 1045, right here on Facebook Live. We're going to be here, and we want you to join us. We'd like for you to ask questions. We'd like for you to leave comments. We'd like for you to make suggestions of ways that we might improve not only this ministry, but all the ministries and the missions that we offer to you and to people like you right here in Grand Avenue, right here in Hot Springs. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 1045. We'll be here live. I hope that you will be too. Until then, please pray for us. We'll be praying for you.